Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to talk about Wi-Fi 4, 5, and 6. Wi-Fi 4 is the slowest N brand, Wi-Fi 5 is AC, and Wi-Fi 6 is the new AX Spectrum that's coming at us really hard. Now, I have a lot of routers, and I've done a lot of reviews on them, so here I'm going to compare them all and show you all in real time what the differences in the speed and quality is on all of these levels. Let's get into it. Okay, so Wi-Fi 4 or Wi-Fi brand N was released in 2009, but it's still used quite a bit here and there. In order to represent this community, I have chosen the TP-Link 450 MBS, uh, and I have also used an old Asus uh, RT NIO. This thing I got used at a secondhand store for four bucks. This thing, I you can actually get this new on Amazon for about forty dollars right now. So they are still releasing Wi-Fi 4 new. Next up, we got Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi AC. If you're getting into AC, then you're starting to get into dual band units. Now, Wi-Fi N operates on the 2.4 gigahertz wave spectrum, and normally that means that you can push out your information farther. Lower waves will get through walls and plate class, however, 5G will not. And 5G is the other band. Uh, so once again, the lower bands will go farther. So the AC2600 is what I have to represent this unit, that's TP-Link, and I also have a D-Link unit to represent the speeds of Wi-Fi 5. It should be said that for the most part, Wi-Fi 5 is what everyone and their brothers are on right now. Wi-Fi 6 is the new and upcoming thing. But within this video, I want to throw down the idea, do we even need it? We will also be testing out the AC band with this, the ASUS 802.11 AC. In order to represent Wi-Fi 6, we're going to be using this D-Link XOAX Wi-Fi 6 unit and an AXTP Link 1800. Now, one of the things that I want to focus on is the speed because the, the Wi-Fi 6 is all about speed. They all argue that you can get up to uh, up to a maximum of so much, but I want to test actually on a local area network transferring from computer to computer how much speed I can get. First off, Wi-Fi 4, we're going to take a look at this bargain basement ASUS. I got this for, for $4 at a second-hand store, and let's see how fast it goes. i got to say the bargain basement definitely passes the Fortnite test. This is my Xbox One, and it plays without lag, no problems. Next up, let's check a local area network test. The monitor on my left is my Alexandrian backup. That's where I save all of my stuff, and on the right is where I do all of my work. So, as we can see here, while I'm trying to do a transfer, I can't get much over one megabyte a second. And um, that's pretty low. Like, it might get you by, but it's also really rocky. However, it's, it, it plays video fine. This is 1080p at least, and it looks just fine. So here I'm getting a super close look at it, and I'm not seeing anything jagged. This thing's pretty smooth. I'm really impressed for a $4 router that I got at a second-hand store, but it is Asus, and Asus makes great routers. Unfortunately, when it comes to the speed test, wah, wah, 10 down. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi 4 is a slow download speed on all of my routers. Now, so just for comparison, this is a new unit that, once again, was purchased new off of Amazon, and uh, I'm honestly getting about the same results. Let's take a look. Okay, so over the local area network, I can still only get about one and a half megabytes per second at the best, and it's still a little glitchy. It comes and goes. It isn't as all there as it could be. Now, one thing I got to say is definitely the more antennas you have, the better, because if you have a dual band, then it can communicate back and forth at the same time. If you have a single uh, uh, antenna, it, so antennas can only talk to one unit at a time, and honestly, the more antennas you have, the better, and the original unit that I got at the second hand store probably wouldn't be good for multiple people as good as this new TP link would be because it has uh, more antennas. So at this point I can't really recommend that anyone go out and buy a wireless end unless they really don't have the money. I mean you'll, you're going to see soon the difference between the download speed between a Wi-Fi N4 and a Wi-Fi AC. Five unit. You'll take a look and you'll see why. 
Next up, let's take a look at the AC units. This is Y55. I have a TP-Link and I have an ASUS that we want to test out on here. Let's go to the tests. So this is what I'm talking about when I say you really should get an AC or a Wi-Fi 5, 5 unit and not an N or a Wi-Fi 4 unit. Look at the difference between the download speed. On the N or the 4, I got 10 megabits. And on this, I get two or 125 megabits. And that's as high as my provider will give it to me. So I definitely recommend if you got a little extra coin, then spend about 80 bucks and make sure you get an AC Wi-Fi 5 unit. The local area network speed transferring from my Alexandrian backup to my power station. This is all with line of sight, I must say, all with Wi-Fi. I can get a maximum of about 30 megabytes a second. And that that's nice. It's nowhere near what they advertise the maximum is. I think it's about one-tenth the difference. But this is what you're actually going to actually see in the actual place. I did not lie about the Wi-Fi top speed. I did not do it. It's not true. It's not. Oh, hi, Mark. So, yeah, I gotta say, it streams beautifully. I have no issue at all. And, uh, yeah, gaming, once again, looks great. I got the other kids on my Wi-Fi, and, uh, yeah, no problems. Next up, let's have a look at the Asus AC1900 and see how she transfers. Now it's at about this stage of the game that I want to add a new item to the mix. This is a USB 3.0 SSD and we're going to be transferring information over the local area network directly from the router. So let's see how it goes. Once again, the gaming is great. Don't have any problems at all. Uh, gaming is great on all of these systems now, so I'm just going to stop uh, putting in the gamer benchmark from here. Once again, transfer speeds go about 30, maybe 35 megabytes a second, and that's exactly the same transfer speeds as I'm getting directly to the USB 3.0. Uh, Actually, I should say that the ASUS has a USB 2.0 port on it, I believe. Now here's just a test to show you the M2 USB 3.0 actually is plugged in and it has the best transfer rates. Look at this, I'm transferring like 200, 300 megabytes a second. So there's no reason that a router with USB 3.0 can't transfer things at an unbelievably fast speed. But what I'm going to be getting at is that all of them will only transfer at 30 megabytes per second. And this thing is definitely capable of getting so much more. Now, of course, uh, the Wi-Fi test, the uh, internet speed is great with this unit. Once again, capping out at my maximum internet speed, and I'll hardly ever use that. Games play great. Next up, let's have our first look into the AX Spectrum. That's right, Wi-Fi 6. This is the newest, the greatest, supposed to be the fastest and the best. Make us faster, stronger, more alive. Let's see how the benchmarks actually turn out. Once again, my local area network, uh, my Wi-Fi speed from the provider is absolutely maxed out by this unit. Now I want to show you that within the settings this unit advertises or this unit says within Windows is capable of 1.2 gigabits per second. Unfortunately while I'm hooking up and I'm transferring I can only get 30 megabytes a second so I really don't know what's up with that. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me and no one's managed to explain why this happens. I've heard some people say that Wi-Fi 6 runs really hot, but so far I haven't seen, I haven't had this thing running too, too hot for me. It got a little bit warm, but that's about it. Up next, we got the big boy Mac Daddy D-Link XOAX5400. Once again, Wi-Fi 6. This is the most expensive router in my collection. Reached me about 300 Canadian rupees. This is dual band, and it is glorious. But... What are the speeds like? I mean, the picture on the back is pretty impressive, so this thing should be pretty good, right? Man, this thing almost looks intimidating. You know how there are a lot of people that have a hard time with 5G? They think uh, they think it'll kill us ultimately. Well, this is the 5G Wi-Fi. I feel like I could chase around a conspiracy theorist with this thing and legitimately scare them with the power output. So once again, this is the expensive unit. I'm only moving about 30 megabytes per second 
maximum. And that is pretty pitiful compared to the advertised speed on these Wi-Fi 6 units, which is unbelievable. And I should say the test to the USB 3.0 SSD to USB unit is also about the same speed. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting 30 megabytes a second if I really push it. And once again, when you go to the settings on these cards, they'll tell you they got a 1.6 or 1.2 gigahertz connection to the uh, to the router so I don't see why it's going so slow at about one tenth the advertised speed but that just seems to be the thing with Wi-Fi 6 Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi AC both seem to transfer about the same speed over a local area network and I don't know why it caps out like that of course, there's more to a router than just how fast it can transfer things over your local area network wirelessly. There's also reliability and range. But another curious thing about this is I live in a 1500 square foot uh, townhouse and I have this, all of these units are being tested, tested out in the back of the basement and if I go to the second floor in the front, nothing will reach that far. And I don't know why. Making me think wireless mesh is definitely the way to go with AC. I mean, if you have the money for AX, you can definitely throw it down. And AX is definitely better if you have more people. But I have a four-person family, and AC seems to work out for me just fine. With the local area network transfers seem to, to cap out at 30 megabytes a second. Now, I often find reviewers have a little bit of a bias when it comes to actual place, actual reliability, and actual heavy usage. So at the end of the day, which one of these am I using? Which one of these has my family decided that uh, they prefer? And I gotta say, my wife prefers the D-Link. The D-Link seems to work. She likes to go outside and still be able to watch TikTok, and bless her, that works out for her. I uh, prefer the Asus myself. However, I should say my wife is not a fan of it. She prefers the D. Now what can I say? Happy wife, happy life, right? In my own personal opinion, I definitely think that this ASUS AC unit is a beautiful place for the price point. I believe I paid about $130, maybe $150 for it, and it seems to be just as capable as every other unit that I've come across, including the D-Link. Uh, once again, my wife doesn't like the range on this thing as much as she likes it on the D-Link. We are with the D-Link, uh, but the D-Link is twice the price. So if, you want, if you're looking for the perfect price point when it comes to routers, I definitely recommend this unit. This unit's actually been around for quite a while, and I have heard very few complaints. We got USB 2.0, USB 3.0. Apparently, we can hook a, a USB printer into that and do printouts from the network, but it's good stuff. This is where the beautiful price point is, and that's the difference in the uh, Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, and Wi-Fi 6 arena. Now, I know I'm going to have some people that have already commented that you got to have a Wi-Fi 6 internet card within your computer in order to make it work. Well, check this out. I got two of them, and I ain't getting the high speeds that I think that I should be seeing if they're advertising these high-in-the-sky uh, speeds. I expect to be able to get one-third of the speed output, and i um, just not seeing it, unfortunately. But still, the speeds are fast, and as we can see as time goes on, the speeds are getting better. However, I gotta say, if you want true speed to your video games or to your network or whatever you're doing, just break down and plug in a CAD6 Ethernet cable, ladies and gentlemen, because still, CAD6 Ethernet cable from uh, a gigabyte switch is definitely faster than the wireless. And uh, I invite you all to try it out. If you want the lowest ping, if you want the best, then you need a gigabyte router that plugs in directly to your gaming hardware to make everything as fast and good as possible. Anyways, yeah, I like the ASUS AC. Wife isn't a fan of it. She prefers the D, the D-Link XO, and that's it from us. So in the end, the AX definitely is the fastest with the most potential, 
but maybe not quite at the moment. Maybe better stuff will come out down the way. And at the same time, there's more to look at than just how fast the unit is. There's how reliable it's going to be, how well it's going to work with your network, and how well it's going to take all of the horrible games and apps that your children are going to download. For the most part, this baseline test is great for perhaps a four-person family that uh, is light users. My wife and I use all the time, but my kids kids only stream a little bit every now and then but at the same time I do think that these units should be able to transfer wirelessly computer to computer faster however if I was actually worried about this speed computer to computer transfer I wouldn't even be using Wi-Fi I would be using hardwire but at the same time when these hardwire or sorry well these Wi-Fi units are advertising such high uh, amounts of transfer rate it's unfortunate when you don't even get to a quarter of the advertised transfer rate in the best possible situation that you can provide uh, line of sight on a beautiful day inside with no electromagnetic radiation basically anyways that's it for me. Neff from Neff's Tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. Or if I, I miss something, if you could teach me something, I would appreciate it if you left me a comment. That's awesome. Anyways, have a good one, folks, and take care of each other.